Hello, uh, welcome back. This is going to be a third video in the series where I cover some of the steps in our character um, pipeline involving uh, jointed sprite characters that are animated in Blender and exported to Unity. Uh, at this stage, we have the character uh, and all of its sprites imported into Blender. Uh, most likely would have been animated by now. Um, this is just a costume for the character, so it's not necessary that it's animated. So um, it's a dog costume. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about how this works. I have already have this head um, set up. You can see that in the body, all of the um, sprites are just individual images, and what we need to do is um, pack them all onto a, a texture sheet uh, for the, the dog character. So all the dog parts are on the texture. Uh, I've already set this up for the, the head, as you can see here. I've gone in bake them onto a texture sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done with the body uh, without having too many problems. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and hide those head sprites and turn on the rest of the body ones. Okay. So I'm going to select those and this template sprite, or template object. I'm going to use Blender's um, Texture Atlas tool for this. So I'm going to call this Sniffles a default. Or how about this? Sniffles Alive Outfit. So then I start unwrapping. So basically what we're doing is adding a second UV channel to all the sprites and uh, rearranging the sprites uh, in that UV channel. So I'm going to pick a new image that I'm going to put the sprites onto. And I'm going to put that on dog zombie outfits. Where's that dog zombie outfits? So far I have no dog zombies on this dog zombie outfits. They're all the other dogs, but that's fine for now. We're going to element select mode and hide this one. Um, and now I'm going to just arrange the individual sprites on the sheet. I'll try to keep them located in relatively the same positions. Let's see, 10. Um, move them around so you can see how this works. All right. Now I hit finish manual unwrap. Select all those sprites again. making sure that 
the um, old UV <coughs> set is set to render. And now I'm going to hit bake, and hopefully the magic will work. And there we go. You can see that Blender has baked out the new texture with all the sprites positioned uh, in their new position. So I'm just going to save this. And now what I would do is I'll add these to the group as well, actually. Outfit, sniffles, alive. Okay. And here I will be able to use the sprite utility once again and export those sprites. So I'll click this button and all of these uh, locations and their origins will be exported as a Unity sprite sheet. So all I have to do is open that into Unity and it will already be set up. Hopefully that doesn't seem too crazy. Um, I think it works pretty well. I enjoy it quite a bit more than actually using Unity's um, sprite. Uh, editor tool. And it's a good way for us to quickly duplicate um, sprites on a sprite sheet and rebake them. So that's that. I hope you uh, learned something interesting. Thanks for stopping by.